Thank you for not giving up on me. Never. Tawana Looney was out of options after eight years spent on dialysis. But when she was offered an animal to human transplant, she took it. Now she's just the fifth American to receive a pig organ. I feel like I got a second chance on life. That's like a new beginning. Doctors say she's faring well after the procedure in late November, which involved a pig's kidney which had been genetically altered. That produced urine within a few minutes. By the time we saw her that evening, we all noticed it. It's this miraculous change that these patients get after a transplant. They get this rosiness in their cheeks. They look alive. To have a working organ and to feel it, it's unbelievable when you had not urinated in seven and a half years. None of the previous recipients of pig organs have survived more than two months. But that has not deterred scientists from pursuing the experimental research, which uses gene editing to stop the human body immediately attacking the foreign tissue. This is A, about um, saving an individual's life and be about solving a much bigger problem that results in, you know, thousands of lives lost every year. 100,000 people are on wait lists for an organ transplant in the US. And it's patients that are driving the calls for animal to human transplants due to the scarcity of organ donations. As an active patient who's on dialysis, if there's a chance for clinical trials, for me personally, I'm all, I'm all for it. I think it's something I'm ready for the innovation. For now, Tawana Looney's health demeanor holds promise for an emerging industry that is pursuing clinical trials next year. Amelia Costigan, ABC News.